There are places on this planet that feel unfinished. Places where the ground simply opens and keeps going. In the eastern Czech Republic, in a quiet stretch of forest near the town of Hranice na Marave, there's a pool of still green water. It doesn't look dramatic. There is no roaring waterfall, no jagged crater, just a calm and soothing pond ringed by limestone. But beneath that calm surface is something extraordinary. This is the Hranice Abyss, currently considered the deepest known flooded cave on Earth. For decades, divers and scientists tried to measure it. In 2012, Polish explorer Krzysztof Starnowski confirmed the cave plunged at least 373 meters straight down. That alone was astonishing. Then in 2016, a custom-made remotely operated vehicle, built for the job and supported in part by National Geographic, descended even further. It reached 404 meters below the surface before hitting a debris slope. Even the most recent large-scale mission to map the entire system failed to complete its objective. Even at 400 meters below the surface, we still haven't reached the bottom or mapped the full system. Subsequent measurements and modeling suggest the cave may not just be a little deeper than we thought, but hundreds of meters deeper, possibly approaching a kilometer or more. And here's the part that quietly unsettles geologists and explorers alike. Our technology still hasn't found the end. The Hranice Abyss sits inside a landscape shaped quietly and relentlessly by water. This is karst limestone, rock that dissolves rather than cracks, hollowed over time from the inside out. At the surface, the entrance is almost unremarkable. A calm pool, green water, no warning signs carved into the rock. You could stand at the edge and never guess that the ground beneath your feet opens into the deepest flooded cave ever found. The water below is cold. It carries very little oxygen, and it's saturated with dissolved carbon dioxide, so much of it that the water becomes mildly acidic, capable of eating away at the limestone itself. That chemistry matters, because it means that the abyss isn't just deep, it's active. Long before scientists arrived with depth gauges and dive plans, locals noticed something was wrong with this place. Not wrong in the supernatural sense, just unfinished. Ropes disappeared without hitting the bottom. Weighted lines came back slick and stained. No one could ever say with confidence how far it went. So the story settled into something quieter than myth, that this was a hole without an end. And there's something deeply unsettling about a place like that. It's not violent and not dramatic, just endlessly patient, waiting beneath a surface that gives nothing away. A hole like this taps into something primal. It invites curiosity. It almost demands answers. But Hranice Abyss does not give them easily. It resists movement. But Hranice Abyss does not give them easily. It resists measurements. It overwhelms divers. And evidence suggests it may still be changing, still dissolving, still deepening, even now. Which raises the question researchers couldn't avoid for long. How does a hole like this even form? And what kind of forces can carve a vertical wound this deep into solid rock from beneath the earth itself? Most limestone caves form from rainwater seeping downward, dissolving rock as it goes. Hranice Abyss is different. The leading hypothesis is that the system formed from below, working its way upward. Deep underground, CO2-rich mineral water rises from the crust. As that water mixes with groundwater, it becomes acidic enough to dissolve the limestone. Over long spans of time, tiny fractures widen. Shafts open, vertical passages extend deeper and deeper. So instead of water trickling from the top and hollowing out a cave below, Hranice appears to be etched upward by the earth itself. And because the process begins deep in the crust, it can, in theory, reach depths that rival any flooded cave on the planet. Scientists studying the region have also found the water is thermal, warmer than you'd expect, another clue that it may be linked to deeper circulation systems below. So we can say confidently that the water is acidic, CO2 rich, and dissolves the limestone, that the process likely begins at depth, and that the cave continues downward beyond where we've directly explored. And we can also say just as confidently that we still don't know how far it goes, but research teams over the last several decades have been dead set on answering that question. 
For much of its modern history, Pranitsa Abyss existed at the edge of human capability. Early efforts in the late 20th century relied on weighted lines, simple probes, and cautious dives into the upper flooded passages. Each attempt confirmed the same thing. The cave was deep, deeper than anyone expected, and it did not behave like a simple vertical shaft. In 2000, Polish cave explorer Krzysztof Starnowski began a long-term effort to understand the system. Over the next decade, he and his team returned again and again, pushing incrementally deeper with careful planning and staged exploration. By 2012, Starnowski had personally reached depths exceeding 220 meters, setting a new human benchmark for human exploration inside the abyss. By that, I truly mean that he dove himself on scuba equipment to 220 meters. That's amazing. That same year, a probe descended to 373 meters, revealing unambiguously that the cave continued far beyond where a diver could safely follow. Two years later, measurements pushed deeper still. By 2014, the confirmed submerged depth had grown to 384 meters. Each new number rewrote the history books, and each one ended the same way. No visible bottom. At that point, it became clear that understanding Hranice Abyss would require more than human endurance. So researchers turned to machines. In 2016, a custom-built remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, descended past every previous limit, reaching 404 meters below the surface. For reference, that's more than 1,200 feet below the surface. It did not find the end of the cave. Instead, it settled on a steep slope of collapsed rock, what researchers call a debris field that suggested the abyss continued downward out of view. Once again, the cave refused to resolve into something simple. By the early 2020s, the challenge was no longer just depth. It was geometry. Narrow passages, vertical drops, overhangs, chemical conditions that interfered with electronics a flooded cave system that didn't want to be mapped. That's when researchers tried something new. In 2022, a European research initiative called UNXMIN returned to Hranice Abyss with autonomous georobotic explorers. These are free swimming robotic systems designed to navigate flooded underground spaces without tethers or direct human control. These weren't just cameras lowered on cables as previous efforts had been. They were self-navigating machines equipped with sonar, chemical sensors, and onboard mapping systems, built specifically for environments where humans and traditional ROVs struggle. The goal was straightforward, let the robots go where everything else had failed. And for a time, they did. The Geo robots moved deeper into the abyss, mapping new sections of the cave and confirming what earlier expeditions had only hinted at. That Hranice Abyss is not a single vertical shaft, but a sprawling, irregular system of drops, ledges, and side passages that widen and narrow unpredictably. In 2022, one of these autonomous explorers reached a depth of 450 meters, setting a new world record for flooded cave exploration. And still, no bottom. Navigation became unreliable. Sonar returns blurred as the cave geometry grew more complex. The system became harder to interpret, harder to model. It's not that the technology had failed, the cave itself was just simply too complex. What UNX Min revealed wasn't a final measurement, it was something more unsettling. It confirmed that Haranitse Abyss is larger than expected, more complex than assumed, and still beyond our ability to fully map, even with purpose-built autonomous machines. Each new expedition pushes the boundary outward, each new dataset adds detail and each time the same realization returns. We are not approaching a finish line, meaning we may have only measured half of it. So why don't we just keep going? It's a fair question. Surely we must have the technology to map a big hole. Why not send another robot, a better one, a heavier one? And the answer is we've tried and we'll keep trying, but this place just resists being known. Cables can snag, visibility drops to near zero, the CO2-rich water corrodes equipment, the geometry of the shaft creates overhangs and steep slopes, and sonar struggles in such a narrow, irregular vertical space. Mapping a cave like this isn't like scanning the open ocean floor. It's like trying to thread a camera through a vertical maze you can't see, where the walls dissolve over time. It is technically possible, and technically fragile, all at once. 
So here's what scientists currently believe, and I'm going to address this carefully and with humility because the truth is we have a lot left to learn. The Hranitse Abyss is the deepest flooded cave system yet confirmed. Its true depth remains unknown. It likely formed by ascending acidic groundwater. That process may still be active today, meaning the cave might still be expanding. And the cave may also be part of a much larger, deeper system, and that piece sends shivers down my spine. Imagine a deep subterranean tunneling system of caves that have been carved from geothermal water over millennia. I'm dying to learn more. But the mysteries remain. How deep does it really go? How old is it? What drives that deep circulation in the first place? And how many more like it, like the Hranitse Abyss, are hidden below our feet, unconnected to the surface at all? We don't know. And that isn't poetic mystery, it's literal scientific uncertainty. And that drives me to learn more every day. We often talk about exploration as something that happened in the past, as if the map is finished and the world is known. But here, in the middle of Europe, is a quiet pool in the woods that swallows instruments, confounds measurements, and disappears into the earth in a way we still don't fully understand. Kranitse Abyss is more than a deep hole. It's a reminder that the planet is still writing itself. That there are still corners where our knowledge stops and the unknown continues. And that curiosity isn't about conquering mystery, it's about respecting it. If you want to keep exploring the strange, the hidden, and the almost unbelievable, you're in the right place. Stay curious, stay current, and thanks for watching. I've got lots more videos on the way.